Okay, uh, this is a demo of Magic Music Visualizer and a technique for doing picture in picture. Um, for those that don't know, Magic Music Visualizer uh, is a very cost effective and powerful tool for doing visuals. Uh, it can process still images, video, it can create uh, geometric shapes and do lots of uh, algorithmic type uh, design for just about any kind of uh, projection or pre-rendered video. Uh, there's also a live mode so you can take a live feed from a camera and it's cool stuff. So what I'm going to show is how to put a picture inside of a picture using some different objects within uh, the tool here. So we're going to start with a video that I shot on a GoPro camera. This is just a car that I found that was quite interesting. And uh, you'll notice that as I walk up to the car it kind of goes off to the left. Um, we're going to have a mirror image of that video where the car actually kind of goes off to the right. <clears throat> and um, both of these are just going to the main output of magic. So this is the output object. The thermal is going through, of course, a filter for the thermal, and this is the device here that's making the mirror image uh, of the car. So we've got those two assets, and we've got a third asset, which is, um, well, we could really use either one of these. I started with a still image, uh, but we're going to use uh, a video here. So yet another copy of this video file uh, that's running through another mirror uh, type device. And then I just changed this to grayscale. So we've got three assets, and I've put them each in their own scene just for organizational purposes. Uh, as you'll see, when we come into the combo here and we start getting into the other steps here, this screen gets really cluttered. And while you can keep going, this this is kind of infinite, this screen here, uh, just to keep everything in front of me, I like to keep it organized. So here we have our normal image, which is coming in, and it's up in the left-hand corner here. The way that we're doing that is first I'm scaling the image to get it a little bit smaller, and I want both of these values to be the same so that my aspect ratio is retained. Um, then I have a translate tool here, and that is how I've pushed it over into the corner. And there's a little bit of trial and error just to get that to fit right so I don't have any black lines or have anything cut off. Um, and that is going to be uh, going out to this blender. And we'll come back to the blender in a second. Then I have my second image here, the thermal. That's getting scaled the same exact way. But the translate is going to be the exact opposite of the one above so that I can push that down into the lower corner. So the same idea there, and then that goes to the blender. In this case, this blender is just combining these two images um, to get them on the same um, output here. And you do have some other capabilities. You can change how the lighting works and how it blends these things together. Um, wherever it overlaps, but I'm not really concerned about that because I'm actually going to put something else in that middle spot anyway. And that's where this third thing comes in, this third object for our gray image. Um, that I have just scaled to make it smaller and um, there's no other translate that's required, but just to note, whatever you're going to have uh, brought to the front needs to go to the magic output first and then anything else will fall below it which overall is pretty intuitive but sometimes this gets crossed and it's it's hard to you know keep it organized uh, maybe if I put this over here but you'd still have some crossing so that is our picture in picture multiple ways here having three images um, I'm going to post the version of this with some creepy music that I put on it um, after this video to see the final thing. And so if you want to see more stuff like this, let me know. Thanks for checking it out, and have a good day.